It was probably the craziest request I've ever received. When I first heard about the project, my reaction was this is absolutely nuts, but it was so cool that I wanted to be on it from the start. We had to invent a group VR experience. I mean, how the hell do you turn an entire bus into a headset? They wanted to um, put school kids on a bus and make it feel as if they were driving on Mars. When you come on to the bus, you can look out the windows. As the experience begins, what you see out the windows now transitions to the surface of Mars. In order to pull this off, we had to figure out how to create this experience of a bus driving through Mars. And the first thing we had to solve was, how do we do this? And we determined that we would do it in Game Engine, and we used Unreal to do that. The Unreal Engine is a physically based renderer, meaning that it wants to simulate the real world perfectly. To enable us to simulate the Martian environment, that brought its own set of challenges where we had to go in and, and tweak stuff and art direct stuff to try and coerce um, you know, the physically based engine into the look that we wanted for the Mars landscape. When the bus is driving down the road at 30 miles an hour, you are moving 30 miles an hour on Mars. If you go over a bump, what you see on the screen moves according to what you're feeling inside the bus. When you turn left and when you turn right, you turn left and right on Mars. How do you take a, a huge landscape where we can take the bus and drive it anywhere? So the way to execute that was to have a system where we could render Mars in real time. I think the drivable area ended up that we created was uh, 250 square miles. We mapped every street in Washington DC on the surface of Mars. So wherever we started the experience, you would start off on that exact same road at that exact same intersection on Mars. And to accurately drive the surface of Mars, we used a combination of GPS, three-axis accelerometer, magnetometer, and a laser surface velocimeter. There is a laser, absolutely. Uh, what that laser does is one simple job. It points a laser down on the ground and it tells you how far you've gone forward or backward. It does one thing very, very well. We had to invent a way for transparent windows to become high-def displays. It's achieved by a box that we created that contains a 4K transparent display and then a layer of switchable film. The switchable film goes from clear to opaque and then the display turns into Mars. We all knew that the screens needed to be transparent. It's a brand new technology. It's not generally available anywhere in the world. We had them made both in China and Korea. They actually literally hand-built these screens. There's no goggles, there's no headset. They could point out things to the friends that they were seeing or their friends were showing them something they were seeing. So they were getting a more immersive experience. They were getting more perspective than just a normal VR experience. In traditional VR, you would just be sitting with the headset on and there's no 4D interaction. There's no movement. Um, unless you build an entire environment like that. You need the, the movement, you need air blowing on you, you need something happening to create that experience. Let's not forget audio here. Audio is crucial to, to this experience. In this experience, we have a bus going through a sandstorm. Without hearing that sandstorm surrounding you, feeling it in the subwoofers, feeling it coming from left and right, it would not be a good experience. You don't just see Mars out the window, you feel it and you hear it. You are surrounded by this virtual reality we've created. And in all honesty, I think the moment that we knew it was gonna work was when we took the bus out. We turned it on and crossed our fingers and it worked. And it was the moment I realized that we we're gonna take the kids to Mars. I think what makes it magical is that when the bus starts moving, all of the hardware and software disappears and it just feels like you're on Mars. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing to see for me, when we, we hit the road and everything had come together and all the systems were firing and, and you saw the kids who were transported and just seeing their faces was amazing. And everyone was pulling for each other and it was, this was tremendously difficult to pull off. I mean, I was over the moon, or over Mars, about how it turned out. Um, the, the fusion of everything, of, of the art and the engineering and just the sheer brain power to put that experience together was amazing.